Hi Bernie, how do you do it? How do you just get on here and just do one video and you're done? I, I, I do not have that ability. I, I will do a video, I'll watch it, and I'll hate it and erase it. Or something I won't like what I said, or... I commend you. <laughs> and I thank you for uh, <clears throat> the shout out. Uh, I will always say that you're one of my favorite channels by far. Um, there are certain channels I consistently watch um, on a regular basis. I can't always catch everything you put out because uh, obviously it's amazing I'm even doing these videos. As I've said before, <clears throat> I've been extremely busy, but lately I've been able to at least put up some things. And the video um, that I did, uh, the American flip side, that was already pre-made for the most part. I, I just... Um, was at a Wrangle Star um, Bible study, and the whole morality issue came up on the United States, and and I truly believe that's one of the biggest uh, cruxes of our ills is the fact that everything has gone relative. You know, what's uh, morally right for one person is morally wrong for the other, and it's it, and it's like this relative, I'll agree to disagree type attitude that seems to have taken effect, or some people just don't even bother to fight or don't even care, and it just um, slowly degrades from there. <clears throat> and that's where the American flip side, I <clears throat> just um, did a couple of little tweaks here and there, but for the most part it was the same video, I actually shared it with I Am One Ugly Guy, <clears throat> asking him if I should put it up, and he told me to put it up as is the original version, but I, and for some reason my computer could not um, up the quality of the video, so the video's quality is pretty crappy, but um, my computer, <clears throat> it can't handle that many um, cuts and changes and all the different things I was trying to do to creatively put across my fe true feelings. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're two minutes in and I haven't even gotten into the topic here, right? Uh, is Anarchy the Answer, Pop Prepper? I put the, I'll put the link below. And we, Pop Prepper and I have gone back and forth on this. Um, and, I, and I completely understand his not wanting to vote. And he even mentioned this dialogue that we've had. Uh, where it's it's not worth it because no matter what the candidate stinks or it's the lesser of two evils and I can't by good conscience not vote uh, I've met so many I mean Hibernia's son is an example um, of the type of people that serve our country uh, I've met Medal of Honor winners um, Michael Murphy look him up Michael Murphy what an amazing amazing guy took a bullet to his face um, talked with a nasally um, kind of sounding voice because of the bullet that he took. Uh, basically, single-handedly took out gun turrets by himself uh, to save his men. At one point, while his men were running away, he like was, was single-handedly shooting at a platoon coming at them at him when he got shot in the face. And I don't think that's in the stories, so at least not on Wikipedia that I found. That was something he told me, and I still regret never videotaping him um, but at the time that was when I was in my 20s I was in uh, I was pursuing music and I, w I, I was coming under the appreciation of, of, of what our armed services have done for me to even be able to pursue music at the time yeah, I was coming into this awakening point in my 20s I mean actually there you go here's a good example <laughs> I found these pictures from my old performing days. Um, and so, when I think of these people, these sacrifices, blood that's been spilt um, for the fact that we can even assemble, that we can actually have uh, this political system where debates can happen without people beating the snot out of each other, um, like you see in some other countries. I mean, it took hundreds of years for us to get this far. And all on the, the all with the blood of, of people before us. I mean, it was paid, everything that we enjoy today is paid, was paid in blood. And I remember that. And I, so I can, I, not in good conscience, not vote. But I agree with you. It seemed to me, especially now, 
Republican and Democrat doesn't mean anything. I mean, John Boehner, he should be gone. I mean, how does, and, and then you wonder about the, the voting system. Like, how are people like Harry Reid and, and, um, and all these people uh, constantly getting reelected? New York, New Jersey is a great example, and one of the things they do, you can look it up, what they do is redistrict. They redistrict areas to give them the better advantage on uh, oh, for voting to ensure their power stays within where they want it kept, whoever they want in, in that sphere. You see what's happening in Texas. They're trying to um, manipulate, if you go on to Veritas, I think it's called, um, you know, I'll put that link below, um, where they're manipulating the uh, um, voting system, trying to do the same thing, turn Texas into a blue state. That's what I believe the whole immigration thing is leaning towards, where they want to try to start uh, manipulating the voting system. And so, yes, it's, it's, it's definitely broken. But is it salvageable? I believe it is. And, uh, and when you think anarchy, you see the difference between... Anarchy, let's say, we'll use the French Revolution as a great example of a revolution going wrong. Um, and the chaos that ensued, and, and it took them a while to get back a sheer footing where they can assemble a government that functions. Um, and a lot of death and a lot of slaughter. And that's usually what happens. When a system fails, there's always someone there that's going to take over um, power. That's the one thing, and I've said this over and over again on my channel... The one constant in human history is the pursuit of power. It, and sometimes you get good like leaders. Let's say Alexander the Great was, was, a, was a, a leader that was, uh, historically speaking, an incredible leader. And then the next thing you know, you get a Nero. You know, you can't predict what you're going to get. I mean, with uh, Carter, we had a total nightmare with Carter in the modern times. And Reagan came in just at the right time. We didn't have a Reagan to, to turn things around. Instead, we got Obama again. And is it by design? I, I don't know. If it is, then we're, 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 it's done. And the difference between anarchy of yesteryear and today is, back then, if the system failed, people can relatively take care of themselves. They, they farmed. They, they were mostly self-sufficient. Nowadays... I mean, think of some of the careers that are out there, you know, computer programming and, and different, you know, uh, most of everything that we have is, is pow it needs power to, to move and, and function, medical field, all these different things. Um, a lot of the, the old um, ways of doing things are completely forgotten. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I love Wrangle Star's channel, he, he, the old homesteading, that, that's... That's kind of an oddity, you know. It's something to watch, to throw on TV, and go, "Oh, that's pretty cool." And then go back to your 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 uh, tech um, obsessed lives, you know, with your your iPads and your iPhones, and everyone's connected but not connected. <laughs> you know, you'd be sitting right across from someone at a dinner table, and you're texting away. And I mean, I've been even guilty of it, but I. That's the thing. When you take away all that and there's nothing, and that's what will happen if, if um, our system completely collapses, not only is it going to affect, it will affect the whole world. Um, I doubt the people whom are waiting to step in when we drop out are going to wait for us to get our footing back. And there's so many ways where it can happen. I mean, <clears throat> we literally are Rome in decline. I mean, same thing that happened to Rome. You know, their citizens, because of the affluence of the empire, began to wane in their desire of self-government. And the powers of be saw that, and so they helped um, further that apathy by making sure there's plenty of food and entertainment, and they would build those... those <clears throat> uh, amphitheaters, and those were all those were all paid for by political uh, people that that wanted to continually get voted. So you get free shows and and food and everything, and that slowly you know wore away the resolve of the Roman people to the point where they didn't want to govern anymore, and it became a burden because they were an empire. And in essence, that's what the United States is. And in the law of power. 
people are always looking. It's just knocking the big kid off the block. That's, you know, the, the big kid in the block is always going to be fought and fought and fought until there's a new guy there. That's just the way it is. Uh, and what Obama's doing, like cutting the military and, and we're, <laughs> and then feeding the people who just want and need, you know, the ha well, more than half the country is, is on some kind of, um, assistance in some way. And they feed, they, they make sure that those programs stay because that helps create that apathy. And then as long as I'm okay, I don't care what happens in the world. But the problem is the world keeps turning. Things keep happening. Situations keep brewing throughout the world that require attention and an eye on. And we're getting further and further away from the ability to handle those things, um, to be able to do anything, because we can't even take care of ourselves. And anarchy, anarchy will be ten times worse than anything we've ever seen, because think about that. Think of the people, the mindset, and think about how they're completely wrapped into this kind of uh, almost illusion, illusionary world. I mean, it's like the Matrix. Just like, the, like everything is what people think is true reality really isn't. I mean, reality TV is like the biggest thing, but those shows aren't even real. People don't know what's real anymore. Um, it's one of the things that's great about the prepper movement is, is it, it brings you back to basics. It brings you back to the doing things yourself, um, like me, I, ro I never th would have thought of roasting my own coffee if I wasn't on this path of, uh, <clears throat> you know, doing the preparedness. Uh, I would never have thought of gardening, even though I suck at gardening, but I try at least. I, I never started fishing until I got into, you know, these, that, those are the things that are, that bring you back to basics, but most people don't really care about those things, you know, the majority of the people don't care. They care about getting home for their football game. They care about uh, getting home for their TV show, whatever is the big TV show at the time. And that's it. So imagine that being taken away completely. The And then you, you put in the thing that I was telling you about how the moral character, the, the moral fabric has, has completely declined. You can see it when you watch TV. Everything is ultra-sexualized, and everything is, is just like... I mean, now you can watch shows on prime time where they'll bleep out swear words. And you could tell what they're saying. I, I never would even have thought that I would see something like that back when I was a kid. You know, the biggest thing that people were freaking out over was Dungeons and Dragons and Tom and Jerry. Oh, they're so violent. And now it's like, <laughs> you'll watch Spongebob and it's got Pantera playing in the background. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, we've gotten progressively worse. Um, as far as, um, you see it when you drive, like, around my area, like, the road rage that's around here. Uh, just people have lost their compassion, it seems. Maybe it's just because I'm living in New Jersey, but it certainly seems that way. So imagine you take away what they, what they know or think is real, and it's gone. So anarchy is definitely not the answer. Um, one thing that, you know... Reading the book, uh, The Liberty Amendments by Mark Levin, that is it a, a way we can go about it. Um, I, I'm encouraged to see how met people in New York State are trying to create two states where the northern part of New York um, State will, you know, secede to become their own state and get rid of New York City and all those boroughs below, um, Brooklyn and all those places. Sorry, Brooklyn. <laughs> Or California. California it wants to, I think, six states they're thinking of splitting up to, or five, because California's a complete mess. And I'd be all for, like, n northern New Jersey, a lot of us up here are more conservative-leaning. Um, and the fur and the more you get closer to the cities, um, that's where you're dealing with, like, the liberal element. Um, and and New, New Jersey's a a nightmare. Like, there's a book, um, The Soprano State, it's called. Um, that's a really good uh, book on, on how bad New Jersey, how bad it is, the political system here. Look at, and, and Chris Christie's no better. I mean, my, my, my friend Ryan Murrow, he uncovered his connections to the Muslim Brotherhood, where he, he's good friends with this guy, and you know, the, he's got major issues, and he's going to be our best hope for president. No, I, I think there's ways, but we have to, 
to, to tackle these things. I'm going to go over the 15 minute mark. Sorry, guys. But I have to keep going. I got to get this out. Um, you know, we still have power. It's whether we're motivated to finally do something. And the problem is they've, they have completely divided us. If you're not liberal, I remember when, when Ron Paul and that whole thing, and I wasn't really on board for Ron Paul, and I would get lambasted. I remember one time I said something, and uh, and then, well, I'm always losing subscribers because I, I, I don't cater, you know, I do what I do on here. I'm not trying to, and I, I've made great friends on here, and that's really, you know, that's why I keep doing this is some of the, you know, Pop Prepper. You know, I do this, I keep doing this for, for the, those guys and the people that are, have been my subs for a long time, which I say over and over again, so sorry for the <clears throat> the constant repetition. But, you see, when the last election happened, you know, I, they would, like, completely attack me, like, and how dare you, oh, you're, you're one of the sheeple, and then you have, you know, people who were for Obama and... It didn't even matter, even if they're going to church and all the different things, you tell them, like, well, he's like the poster boy for, um, for, you know, people who are pro-choice, you know, and, 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 and you try to bring that to the person at church, and, and, oh, he's completely, um, against Israel, which is like another thing that's not good as far as biblically speaking. And, and But these people only saw one thing, and they saw it in another way where I don't even care. So even your Christian beliefs, people were still voting, in a, and it was divisive in the church. And I'm talking from a church sense what happened during that election. That I mean, there was a lot of animosity in my church too, like because there was you know, some people were celebrating and were... And if you, it's like, what? You're celebrating. This guy is not the person you should have voted for. We're divided. We're divided religiously, racially, um, economically, um, whether you're, you're pro immigration or, or against immigration, we're separated there. We are completely divided. And, you know, a lot of. How do you get that together? How do you pull it together? And our elected officials have mastered keeping that the same. keeping thi And so the only way we're going to be able to change things is if we finally try to find common ground and do something. But I can't see it happening. And, and my problem is I can only compromise to a point because of my religious beliefs. Like, I, that, that's the biggest, most important thing in my life. And so it's, it's, we're in a serious, serious issue, serious problem. And every year, every year of tax time, I, I get livid, just as you did, just as Dead Winter um, did. But anarchy? Anarchy? I mean, our revolution, and everyone's talking about revolution, armed revolt. The likelihood of us putting everything back together in a functional government setup is not, it's, it's not the most uh, likely thing to happen. I mean, most revolutions end bad. Most revolutions end up with wrong people in power. Uh, and it, even our own revolution almost ended. I mean, with George Washington, where he had to, uh, he had to go up to New York to stop his um, commanders from marching on Congress. Like, they were going to overthrow, I think it was Newburgh, New York, I think. I think in Newburgh, New York. You read about that. That's where his famous line, I've gone, uh, forgive me, gentlemen, I, I must put on my spectacles for not only have I gone gray, but I've grown blind in my for my country. And in that one phrase, it diffused... Uh, a revolution within a revolution where our country probably would not have survived. Um, we barely made it through the Civil War. Um, and some people say it would have been better off if we remained divided. I, I think I think not. I think we wouldn't have grown as strong um, and as quickly if we were if we were divided, divided states. I believe the Civil War helped bring us into uh, where we are today. Um, 
But the problem is, we have leadership that don't care. Leadership that don't care. That all they care about is that they keep their power. They have no um, historical foresight. They can't. They don't care. They don't think years ahead like our forefathers did. We don't have leadership like we had in the revolutionary times where we had geniuses. We had these people who were geniuses. And while I'm hitting 20 minutes, i got to stop. <laughs> Nobody's going to watch this video. Well, there's just some of my rambling thoughts. Uh, but no, anarchy is not the answer. Um, find, trying to find a way where we can collectively... Uh, Liberty Amendments by Mark Levin. Read that. Likelihood of us doing it. I mean, the amount of votes that we would have to do. Maybe creating states... Um, you know, within states, maybe that would be a wake-up call. I don't know. Uh, but it is disheartening, and uh, I feel your pain. So, anyway, welcome subs. Boy, did you guys get blown out with a 21-minute video that nobody's going to watch. I'll be shocked if, if you guys even... <laughs> I'll be shocked if you guys watch this whole video. Do your best. Let God do the rest. Take care, guys.